Hello my boys, good morning. So I made my coffee here because today we're gonna talk about uh, my start in Path of Exile to Early Access. Uh, first of all, I need to tell you that you should play whatever you want because the game just starts fresh now. You should enjoy it, you should have fun, you should explore it. So here I'm just talking about my option. But for example, if you want to play melee, go melee. If you want to play spells, go spells. Play what you want to have fun with. You got idea? But I want to put a warning now on the screen. So in the early access, if a class is too busted, let's say you've seen uh, somewhere that um, an ascendancy is overpowered as fuck, be sure that GGG will tweak it because this is early access, it's not the official launch. So if something gets busted, let's say in end game, uh, clears the bosses too fast, they will adapt it. They actually will nerf it in a few days. Yeah. So don't expect it uh, to last. So if something broken, GGG will fix it on the spot. This is the purpose of early access. They need to tweak the skills. They need to make balances so the game is prepared for the official launch. Keep this in mind if you want to play. Good. Now enough talking, I will talk about my starter. Let's go. So when GGG did the stream for Path of Exile 2 and revealed everything, I already explained that I will either go with Ranger or with Mercenary. But after inspecting the Dead Eye Ascendancy, I realized that it's quite good, it's an all-rounder skill, and I make this video right after the stream, I explain, Dead Eye is great, look, even here. So, I will stick with that, yeah, because it's an all-rounder, and I will discuss more now. Okay, so I have here some things to talk. So, we have these skills here, actually, they were more leaked that we will talk in a second, yeah. So, I will go with Endless Munition, this will be more my first lap, because in, as I explained in Path of Exile, having additional projectiles is great, especially for the campaign, yeah. Uh, so, th this will be my choice for the first lap. I'm not sure what will be here, but I will go for Endless Munition, so I will shoot one additional projectile. That is big, especially for the campaign. And for the skill choice, actually, we have this one here. So at level 1, you can use any of this. And of course, people will pick Lightning Arrow because it's the best. Look here. Hits up to two additional nearby enemies near the target. This is great for a back clears. Helps. So you shoot one enemy, it will also sh shoot uh, the, uh, the targets close to it. This is great. So this will be my pick, Lightning Arrow. Now for the support gems, I really don't care. Because Jonathan Rogers said uh, that they will give you some suggestions early on. And because I play Path of Exile 2 for the very first time and I don't want to be a nerd this early, I will take. Uh, I will go with the suggestions. But I will focus on single target damage because I already have here a little uh, help with the clears. So what I want here, I will pick support gems that will boost single target. That's all my focus now. Yeah, so I can clear easier the rare enemies, the unique enemies. Yeah, for the, it's okay. After I will get the secondary projectile from the ascendancy, this skill will be even better. Or even you can put that thing lesser multiple projectiles so you shoot more arrows. Yeah, and this will be fine for the campaign. So I will stick to lighting arrow. Uh, I need to remind you that I will make videos daily with my summary and I will post my progression so people can see what changes I did to the build, what I found out. You know, if you want to see it, if you don't want to see it, oh, you're lost. So here I have this uh, beauty, this uh, endless munition, and here I will not go for gathering winds uh, that give tailwind. Tailwind is quite good in Path of XL1, but we have a downside here. Lose all tailwind when it hit. Yeah? So you want to do it this in the end game when you have a lot of dodge so you don't get hit. Or when you have a lot of attack speed that allows you to spam a lot of skills so you get your tailwind charges fast. Yeah, Usually there are 10 charges, I think. Good. Hmm. No accuracy penalty at distance, uh, Jonathan Rogers was actually asked and um, put it like this, you don't need to worry about accuracy. Uh, well, anyway, range class in general don't have to worry about accuracy because they use uh, dexterity items and they have some nodes that help with accuracy usually. Yeah, uh, Accuracy is a big problem for melee but not for range, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this. Now I'm gonna take you some sweet stuff here. They actually revealed the rest of the ascendancy nodes for Pathfinder. But uh, sorry, this post was deleted. So apparently, yesterday or two days ago, this got deleted. So it was posted from a guy next to Extra Life. And uh, people say that uh, those notes were real. And I tend to believe that. Let's go back here. One of the notes was saying point blank. One of those other notes say the uh, far shot. Point blank, you deal more damage at close range. Far shot, you deal more damage at long range. And why I tend to believe that uh, those are real? Because we also have these notes here. Uh, bonus against enemies uh, in 2 meters, bonus uh, against enemies further than 6 meters. So it makes sense, those two nodes, point blank and far shots, because we also have them. So what I'm going to do, I will take first endless munition for additional projectile, then I will go for a point blank, enemies at close range. Yeah, uh, It might appear to some players that it's contraintuitive, because this is a range skill and you want to deal damage for afar. 
but uh, you know I play the game a lot and I know that in the campaign at least master will rush towards you so they will get close pretty fast so you will fight most of them at close range also for the bosses a lot of bosses you will need to get close to the boss to dodge their mechanics and some bosses they will follow you around the sword so I'll go with point blank anything that gives you more damage multiplier it's great so after I take end ammunition I'll take point blank there's another ascendancy that allows you to place an additional mark Mark are like curses in Path of Exile, yeah? Uh, yeah, also have some mark notes here, don't worry, I will not take them. So here about my progression here on the skill tree, I will focus on notes that give me a single target or something that can boost single target, yeah? So of course I will take this path with projectile speed, attack speed, here, chance to pierce an enemy, increase projectile damage is good. I will go here at the bottom. Um, because we have more the things that boost our damage. You see here, elemental damage with attacks also helps with uh, physical damage mitigation, which is great. Uh, damage at close range, of course, because for the campaign I explained monsters will catch up to you, so it's wise to go with point blank and things at close range. For the end game, things can change, but for the campaign, you, I'll go with point blank. Here are more nodes that are not yet revealed. Uh, this is for range. You see, even this, uh, it's in the form, in the shape of a bow. So pretty sure these are bow related skills, but enough with spoilers, you will need to discover it on your own. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. So this is my pick dead eye. Yeah, and for the first skill, I need to stress that they release lighting arrow here. Yeah, it's good, especially for this uh, secondary line. You hit two additional enemies. Okay, my boys, so that will be my starter. I will start with Ranger and then ascend into Dead Eye later. Yeah? If you want to keep track of my progress, keep in mind that I always make a zero to hero playlist in Path of Exile 1, for example, and I will do the same in Path of Exile 2. I will have a summary for each day where I show short gameplay footage. I will talk about my upgrades, my items, where people can get inspiration. So if you're starting also with Dead Eye, you might also want to watch all this crap. <laughs> Uh, melee will have a hard time in my opinion, especially for the end game. The first few acts should be also horrible for melee. I'm just telling the reality here, so don't get upset. Range spells and range skills, range attacks in general have an advantage over melee, especially for map clears. This is normal and this is true for a lot of uh, similar games, you know? Yeah. Well, enjoy the rest of the day. I hope you have a great day and I'll go finish my coffee on the balcony. Cheers! Vroom!